Hey everyone, my name is Tom Nuki, and <clears throat> welcome to My Hero Academia, chapter 225. Uh, wow, we're already quarter into 200s. Um, but yeah, <coughs> excuse me. Um, 225 interview with a vampire. <laughs> Toga. Um, she did say she wanted to interview Toga as like a little joking thing um but i'm very excited for this um people have been saying um more so it was in i think brago's chat when i was watching one piece reaction it, it was like mha chat there for black clover i'm like oh boy that gets me excited um let's get into it page one deka is a wonderful city since it's in the mountains the roots since it's in the mountains, the routes in and out are limited. Okay, that was a weird like, thing they said. A calm city surrounded by nature, far from the hustle and bustle. The perfect place to hide. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I see. The city controlled by the Liberation Army. Y'all made two mistakes. First, nobody wants to see an old man like me play the damsel in distress. Second, if they release their Nomu, this city is toast. Um, or if Gigan gets a hoodily, um, if Ujiko just teleports Gigan in here when he wakes up, it is over. <laughs> They won't be bringing their Nomu for three reasons. That's even more than two. Why is that? First, ever since the Camino incident, there have been no real reports of any kind of <laughs> Nomu showing up with the leak. Uh, I don't know where you got your intelligence or where you got this information, but uh, I'm going to fire that person. <laughs> Second, it's the high spec Nomu that appeared in Kyushu. The exception to my first point. The white Nomu that Black produced are wait, the white Nomu that Black produced are important here. Although they seem to have been man made, their individual strength is no more than a normal human's. And finally third, W's earlier comment about retrieving black. From this comment, we can infer that there are currently no other operational no moves besides black. Oh, okay. I, I was like, who the fuck is black? But it, it's uh, it's the high end, and uh, they had no idea that there's like ten high end no moves that they can just unleash and start a fucking war against the Liberation Army, the heroes, <laughs> and everything. Summarizing these findings, we can continue that the Nomu are a support resource provided by all for one. Oh no. And can no longer be considered a freely usable asset to the League. Now, Ujiko already confirmed he can make them, so. A League of Villains about Nomu is no more than a group of delinquents. They've spread out. Leave the right to us. It was that Spinner getting attacked? <laughs> Well, what is a hand? He he punched and then his hand turned into like a giant thing of eyes. <laughs> what? And Spinner has no quirk from what it looks like. So. He jumped. Where did that fire come from? I, uh, don't answer it. Each and every one of them is so strong. The hidden soldiers of the Liberation Army have been training diligently every day, forging their bodies and souls. Forging their bodies and souls for the sake of living as humans should. That's why it's quite vexing for you group of late starters to become the talk of the nation. Alright, so that's why they hate him so much. Jealousy. <laughs> Stupid reason. Toka Himiko. It seems that you're not fond of interviews. As such, I must apologize. 
You see, I haven't given up on a scoop since my first year in the industry. Toga Himiko. From this point on, I'm going to thoroughly strip you down. Oh, uh, <laughs> Rule 34 is going to have a fun time this week. Uh, I have no interest in the League of Villains, but you're special. Why did such a girl descend into madness? I actually want to know this too. What a wonderful article that will make. It brings me back to the days in the field. Alright, so that that was a hit of Toga backstory. <laughs> the head worker is like, nope. <laughs> and the guy next to her got stabbed. Or she threw a little, uh, not, not her knives, she, she threw her knives at him. She's gone. I see. So this is why she was never caught. Because she can hide her presence. When she was Cammy, she explained that. There, there's no way she's gonna kill her this easily. They just jump cut. Okay, now, Curious Sama is in the middle of an interview. To be able to kill like that without a moment of hesitation, I'm so curious. I want to know. Just what kind of life did you live? She got knocked into the window. Ah, over there. Watch out. They freaking blew up the freaking shop, isn't that? Isn't that like a re wait? Isn't that a restaurant? It looks like a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, they just, they literally blew up a place where people eat. <laughs> okay, our soldiers have no mercy. Oh, quirk ability, Kazuki Chitose, liberation code. Curious. Oh, they have codes. Ooh, that could mean something. Like, putting all the liberation codes of the five members together could, uh, mean something. Special ability land mo Okay. So, we're quirk. I was like, what? Where the hell is the, uh, the gun exploding? Anything she touches turns into an explode. Oh, what? Wait, what? Her explosives aren't very strong. Make up for, for, for numbers, yeah. So she could touch, uh, touch, uh, Toga and then put like 10 explosives around her and she would be knocked out. Okay, um, it's a cool quirk. What's it remind me of? It's supposed to say Mr. F five, right? Mr. Five from One Piece, but that's like his boogers. Um, I can't think of anything else. But explosions, Bakugo. Uh, <laughs> Bakugo relative? Who knows? Um, if you'd like to live longer, please answer my questions. Oh, and they're going to kill her or capture her. Oh, when they're all in the restaurant. Oh. <laughs> she, she just... Nah, she she didn't. I thought she did hit her, but nah, she she didn't load diff him. What this direct slurp mask, a syringe, a cork that lets her ingest blood and transform. I see. So that's how. And what's more, by taking multiple people at once, she has her choice of candidates. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of like recap a little bit, but I like it because she's. She's acting like she's a journalist. <laughs> uh, Discord. Props this person DM me the chapter if not already have it. <laughs> and it goes about saying that her skillful movement cannot be explained as that simple murderers. How did she acquire the skill? Wait, what? The blood ex. Ho ho hold on. What the fuck? How does that work? Oh, so she sacrificed everyone to do this. Never mind. I was gonna say if it was just her, um, that'd be like what the hell. But she sacrificed um, 
subordinates to exploit Toga. If you're trying to transform and blend in, that's not going to work. I've come up with a few strategies of my own to speak to you. Our selfless soldiers have turned their own bodies in the in order to corner you with their special abilities. Just what do you think of your current situation? Eldest Dup. Eldest daughter of the Toga. Born August 7th, age 17, disappeared after middle school graduation. Were you able, wait, what? Who the fuck is part of the Toga family? Were you able to see my riveting interviews with your with your parents? How about the one with your middle school classmates? Everyone said the same thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why'd you throw away your normal life? I know it well. Your pain and suffering. Is that Deku? No fucking way. No. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Her and Deku did not go to the same school. Hold on. But I would like the honor of hearing it from yourself. Kazuki, this article doesn't matter. The heart of the mess. I, I can't. Uh, what? That's what the fuck is he fucking Deku? I can't. I need to talk about this. What the fuck? This article doesn't capture the heart of the masses at all. People's hearts aren't moved by mere reports and records. Go do some interviews. Look at their faces. Any article that manipulates the public must have heart in it. I'll shake the world with your heart. All for the sake of the Liberation Army. Just why did you fall into madness? What exactly is a normal life? That's actually a bit dark. Like, oh my god, Toga's face. Um, like, her, page 14 and page 15, like, the amount of blood on her is insane. What an incredible expression. It's almost like... I see, you finally decided to reply. A doll. A liberation army sign. You are trying to make the world a wonderful place. And as such, I love you very much. Wait, what? Did she, did she, is that Toka back then? She doesn't have a skirt on right now. I also live a normal life, you know. With that fucking terrifying face. What a chapter. <laughs> uh, best chapter of the week. Um, easily. What about it? <laughs> oh my god. Bro. If Horikoshi is telling us that Deku... And Toga went to the same school. Deku, Bakugo, Toga. Same middle school. That's insane. Um, I don't... What the fuck? Uh, first year the doctor. It's pretty much confirmed to be Deku's doctor as a kid. Like, all these revelations are becoming insane. So let's just... Let's do a rundown of the chapter. Um... They confirm that no one really knows about this place of uh, Deka. Like, no one really knows about it. So it's, it's a perfect place to hide away for the Liberation Army. But we do know <laughs> that uh, um, Reed Destro thought that this plan was perfect because they had no access to the Nomus. Which is just flat out stupid. Um... 
like they have tons of high ends, and Ujiko probably has even more um, mid class and low class in the moves at his disposal. So I, I don't know what he's thinking. Um, as a character redesher, this seems kind of stupid right now. <laughs> like he's cool and stupid at the same time. Like his plan to take out the League of Villains is smart, but he's doing it for the wrong reasons. He's doing it because they're talk of the town, and that's just stupid. <laughs> like, do it because you want to be uh, the other villains. But then we get to uh, Kazuki Chitose. Her liberation code is curious. So what I think the liberation code means is Reed Dasho is gonna have a code. Um, everyone, else, everyone who's like the head of the liberation army is going to have one code each. And it's going to be like, it's going to make a sentence out of it. And it's going to be like really awesome when it happens. But that's what I think. So, her, her quirk is that anything she touches will become an explosive. But it's not strong, but it's strong in numbers. Now, of course, they're going to take Toga out. But they had a backup plan where their subordinates had explosives inside them. And they used that to their advantage. And that thing with Toga, like, the boom, um, that's like a, a really <laughs> uh, crazy panel. Like, it reminds me of, uh, what was it, uh, Zoro taking all Luffy's damage in a throw bark. But <laughs> the craziest thing was, why did you throw away your normal life? I know it well your pain and suffering. And if that person with the black face is Toga, um, she, she has the same hair color, but she like, she, she cut her hair. <laughs> like what? I need to go back to episode one and look at those classmates because that is Deku. That has to be. The hair, I, I can't tell if it's the hair because of the, the color. Um, but that face is Deku. Um, but Toga just stands her up. And then that one mini flashlight panel right before the last panel that looks like Toga uh, taking down the, um, this. I think she's the Shuesa one. I'll, I'll, I'm going to call her Curious. She took down Curious the first time in middle school, I guess. And that's probably what caused Toga to go down this path. But that is my live reaction and review for My Hero Academia Chapter 225. Amazing chapter. Chapter of the week, easily. Um, 5 out of 5. 4.5 out of 5. I can't decide. There's so much going on in my head. But yeah, my name is Tom Nuki, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.